One way to summarize a set of data is through a set of numbers called the five number summary. By looking at the minimum, maximum, median, lower quartile, and upper quartile, we can get a good sense of where our numbers lie. Additionally, we can use those numbers to find the range and interquartile range to get a sense of the spread of our data. Let's say we survey nine men and collect their weights in pounds. To start examining the data, it is helpful to first rewrite these values in size order. I have chosen to rewrite the weights from smallest to largest. Once organized, it's easy to see that the minimum weight is 173 pounds and the maximum weight is 204 pounds. These are the first two numbers in the five number summary. The third number in the five number summary is the number in the middle, the median. To find the median, we ignore the first and last numbers, then the second and second to last numbers, then the third and third to last numbers, and so on, until one number remains in the middle. This middle number, 187, is the median. The fourth number in our summary is the lower quartile. This is the median of the lower half of our numbers, disregarding the median. Since there are two numbers in the middle, we add them and we divide by 2 to find the average of those two numbers. Our lower quartile, otherwise known as Q1, is 179.5 pounds. The fifth and final number in our summary is the upper quartile. The upper quartile is the median of the upper half of the numbers, again, disregarding the median. The upper quartile, otherwise known as Q3, in this case, is the average of 195 and 201, which is 198 pounds. While these numbers tell us a lot about where our data lies, we need two more values which will tell us how much our numbers are spread out. The range is found by subtracting the minimum from the maximum, 204 minus 173. Our range is 31. The interquartile range, otherwise known as the IQR, is found by subtracting the lower quartile from the upper quartile. Q3 minus Q1 equals 18.5. The bigger these two measures of spread, the more our data is spread out. In our last example, we surveyed an odd number of men. If we have 10 men instead, finding our quartiles is slightly different. But don't worry, the difference is very small. In this case, there are two numbers in the middle. So to find the median, we average the two middle numbers. To find the lower quartile, we find the median of the lower half of the numbers. But there is no number in the middle of the list to ignore in this case. Our lower quartile is 180 pounds. To find the upper quartile, we find the median of the upper half of the numbers. The upper quartile is 201 pounds. Here's a summary of what we've learned. A five number summary includes a minimum, maximum, median, lower quartile, and upper quartile. Range helps us to see the spread of data and is found by subtracting the minimum from the maximum. Interquartile range also helps us to take a deeper look at the spread of data and is found by subtracting the lower quartile from the upper quartile.